Today, I've got another cool video about Autogen. Uh, Autogen is this uh, really cool Microsoft AI framework that allows you to configure these uh, little AI bots to do work that you've asked them to do. In today's example, I'm actually testing it on stock APIs. Which ones do you know? Which ones can you write for? So I asked it to write one script that uses five different APIs. So my goal is to show you how I got this script stock APIs built by Autogen to query five different stock APIs for the Ford stock. Here we go, Alpha Vantage, FinHub, IEX, Quandle, and 12 data. To find out which one is cheapest, print that to the screen and then also print that to my Slack channel. Here's our program. We're gonna import Autogen. We've got our config list, setting up our LLM, which we're using ChatGPT4, and here's our two agents. I'm not gonna go into details about how to set these up. I'm gonna link a video that goes into all those details at the end of this video. Let's get right to the meat here. The, here, we're gonna initiate the chat. And we're gonna to talk to our assistant, and here is the prompt that we're gonna talk about. So I'd like to create a Python script that meets the following requirements. Searches for the Ford stock on FinHub, Alpha Vantage, Quandle, IEX Cloud, 12 Data, and Yahoo Finance. Now I'm gonna give it a couple of tips here. So I'm gonna say for Alpha Vantage, use the time series daily function. Why am I doing that? It's because I've ran this before. I don't wanna waste its time and waste the money to, to do this again. What was happening was it was actually choosing uh, one of the APIs that was not free. And therefore, I told it to use this one, which is free. Next, for 12 data, use the interval one day. What was happening before, I was getting an error because it actually used something called just 1D. So that obviously the API has changed uh, since ChatGPT uh, knew about it. So I'm giving it the hint here, hey, use one day instead. Then we're going to ask it to compare all the prices. So then we're going to print which price is lowest at which exchange. Sends that lowest price exchange to Slack. And here is the Slack URL. I'm not gonna show you here how to set this up. I will also link that video at the end of this video to show you exactly how to set up your own Slack channel to do this integration. Okay, let's go ahead and run and see what we get. So here's the output that it's giving to us. Let's actually get this into another window and make it easier to see. Here is a script that was generated. So we're gonna import request, a date time, date time. Here it is, Now you're gonna need API keys for all of these different APIs. Uh, they're all free, so you can go ahead and set them up. So FinHub, Alpha Vantage, Quando, IEX, and 12 Data. And here is the uh, Slack webhook URL. Here is our stock symbol, our ticker, so uh, F for Ford. This obviously could be any stocks or a list of stocks. You know, you can set that up. It's going to grab the today's date with uh, date time, not today, stir time. Format that how we want it. And then here it goes. It goes through every one of these, so... Here is FinHub, it calls the URL, request get, and then you get your response. Next, uh, Alpha Vantage, let's do that one last. Let's skip down here to Quandle. Same, same kind of deal, you got your API, got your request, your, uh, and then you're gonna get a response. It's the same pattern, so here's IEX, here's 12 data. It's gonna bundle all of this into a, a nice dictionary. Then it's going to do a min on, on the price, lowest price, it's gonna print the lowest price and then it's gonna send that price to Slack. Now, why did I do this one last? So look at Alpha Vantage. I actually did have to add this. I put this uh, comment in here, so manually added, just FYI. What was going on was it was actually using this today and this variable here, latest date, it actually, it was just today was here. That was incorrect. Uh, that was not part uh, in the response. What was in the response was I had to do an alpha vantage response and just get the next iter on time series daily, called that latest date, and then I was able to pull that out of the JSON, and that worked. Let's go ahead and run it again. I did add a, a nice print here so that we could see some more output. There we go. There's the output, and the answer is 1083. Let's go back to our Slack. And there you go, 1083. It works. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like. Leave me a comment, happy to get back with you. As I said before, I'm gonna link two videos here for you. This top video, what it's gonna do is show you how do you set up Autogen and all the different configurations. This bottom video here is gonna show you how do you set up the Slack, its notifications, and that channel and that app to sync into your Slack channel. Thanks again for watching, until next time.